Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is September the 1st, 2020. Let's talk NBA playoff basketball in the Eastern Conference. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, as many of you know from my earlier videos, I have a futures uh, bet on the Milwaukee Bucks. I believe they come out of the East, but I'm very concerned I'm going to have to hedge the play because Miami, for whatever reason, has their number. Miami did very well against them in the regular season. I thought the Bucks fell apart in game one of their second round playoff game late in the game. Miami pulled away and understand that's in large part by design because Pat Riley uh, and Eric Spolstra really insist that their players be more athletic, more in shape than opposing players. The Miami Heat really do focus on fitness. And what I noticed in the game was that Miami, a team with specialists, right, it's both a blessing and a curse, somehow were able to get their three-point shooters wide open at different parts of the game. In other words, Milwaukee's calling card is spectacular defense. For some reason, maybe it's the agility of the athletes. Milwaukee's a little big and clunky. Miami seems to be able to outmaneuver Milwaukee and get to spots where their shooters are accurate, right? This Duncan uh, guy, Duncan Hunter, I think his name is, off my fantasy basketball team, uh, is one of the best at hitting threes. Right, Miami has a series of excellent shooters. And let's just say, Jimmy Butler, who is not a great three-point shooter, certainly has the first step to get to the rim with regularity against this Bucks team. So, right now, let's be intelligent. We're just going to take what the casino is giving us. This is the time of year where futures get skewed. The Miami Heat, who are up one game to nothing on the Bucks, are 12 to one to win the championship. Now, I don't believe Miami can beat the Clippers or the Lakers in the NBA Finals, right? I believe it's Clippers, Lakers, let's throw in another name. And I know they blew it yesterday. The Houston Rockets. I believe one of those three teams is going to come out of the West, right? Denver, Utah, they're beating up each other too much for me to believe that one of those teams is going to come out. Also, very disappointed in Houston yesterday. If you're a Laker fan, you have to realize that right now the Lakers are benefiting from the fact that Houston and OKC are in such a long, drawn-out battle. So right now, what I want people to consider is to hedge the Milwaukee Bucks coming out of the East with a futures play right here on the Miami Heat. Right? Just understand, if Miami beats the Bucks, and I believe Miami beat the Bucks in the regular se season series, if Miami has a structural advantage because of long-range accuracy, they're specialists, and the fact that their bigs are just more athletic than Brooke Lopez or Chris Middleton, right? Think Bam Adebayo, for example, right? Understand, if Miami gets by the Bucks in the second round of the playoffs, then you're cooking with gas because then you're in the Eastern Conference Finals, likely against the Boston Celtics. Right? I think 
Cinderella has reached her limit with the Toronto Raptors. And, of course, you would get to that conference finals with leverage. Let's also talk briefly about the Boston Celtics. I know everyone's looking at the Lakers, Clippers, and Bucks. I believe if you're a serious gambler looking for leverage, and that's really what you're trying to do here, lock in leverage, you have to realize that the Boston Celtics at a plus 700, right again, a plus 700 to win it all, is a position you want to take right here. Understand, at this stage of the game, this stage of the season, you're just being an opportunist. It's not that I believe the Boston Celtics have enough to win the NBA title. It's just that I believe the Boston Celtics have enough to get by the Toronto Raptors. So if I'm going to get 7 to 1 odds right here, right? if I'm going to get a plus 700, and if the Celtics look like they're at least going to make the Eastern Conference Finals, I've got to have a position on the play. Right, so right now you have a unique situation where the teams that are up one game to none in the second round of the Eastern Conference playoffs are both going off at a plus 700 in the case of Boston and higher, plus 1,200 in the case of the Miami Heat. I think you need to put plays right here on both of these teams, right? Let me also say, if I would have told you early in the season that the Miami Heat would be up in the second round of the playoffs and a casino would be offering you 12 to 1 odds on the Heat to win it all, that's a bet you would have to take, right? So, while I still believe that the Bucks are the best team in the East, since I already have a position on the Bucks, and since the casino is giving me 12 to 1 on the Heat, I have to hedge the play by putting a little something on the Heat right now to win it all. Right? Understand the long term goal here is to be able to hedge out later. Let's say the Heat are playing the Clippers in the NBA Finals and you feel the Clippers are the better team. Then at that point, and of course the Clippers are more athletic than the Milwaukee Bucks, right? Just think Kawhi Leonard, think Paul George, right? Montrez Harrell. Then at that point, because you're getting 12 to 1 on the Heat side of the play, you'd be able to throw a little bit extra on the Clipper side of the play. Right? So, if the Clippers follow through and win the NBA title, you would get back a little bit extra. You would profit off the leverage that you're able to pick up right here cheaply on the Heat at 12 to 1. Right? I know Milwaukee lost their first game in the first round of the playoffs to the Orlando Magic. And I know there are gamblers out there who say, hey, they made the adjustment. They then went on a rampage, dispatched the Orlando Magic. Understand, Orlando is not nearly as good. Not nearly as accurate, shooting-wise, as the Miami Heat. And just understand, Miami, during the regular season, gave Milwaukee problems. So as someone who bet on the box to come out the East, I'm going to hedge the play right here with Miami at 12-1, to 1, and because I'm getting great odds on Boston, they're up in their series, and I'm getting a plus 700. I'm also going to throw a little on the Boston Celtics at plus 700 to win the whole thing with the goal of hedging out later. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.